Hi, I'm Sheldon, and today we're going to be showing you how to install Windows Millennium Edition. John, this is the wrong disc. All right, the first thing you want to do is power on the computer. Rapidly press the F2 button like you're beating up someone. It might be the delete button, I don't know. In general, just smash the keyboard and it should work. As you can see, it's loading the setup utility. You have entered the BIOS. You have entered the BIOS. The BIOS lets you enter in PRM scripts that lets you access the PRF LMF file. What you want to do is enter the boot configuration. If it says plug and play at OS and it says no, you have a shitty computer. Make sure you change this option to yes. Don't let them boss you around. Also in the boot configuration, make sure it's set to either boot from the floppy disk drive or the optical disk drive because that's what we're going to be using in this case. Insert your installation media. If your optical disk drive doesn't work, I'd recommend throwing the computer out the window because it's a piece of junk. Press the button on the optical disk drive to suck in the media. It will attempt to read it. Press escape and discard any changes. No. I meant to say press F10. Save configuration. Yes. If you hit no, you're an idiot. It is now going to try and boot off the optical disk. This is in no way, shape, or form a sponsor of Dell. It's trying to read the floppy disk drive even though I said it to not boot off of it. Starting Windows 95. As you can see, it's booting off the disk. Now once you've entered this menu, it's going to get a lot more complicated. In fact, you've just entered the twilight zone and entered a new paradox. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to show you a much more detailed way in order to do this. So to sit back because this is going to be long, intense, and it's going to get you through this installation. We've entered the final stages of this very journey is this mission so we're gonna have to add some things that are gonna make us be able to get through this glove protectors I call them glove protectors they protect your fingers you know what I'm saying good mom can you give me a coffee thanks also, since we've entered the last stages of this journey, I need something to help me get through this cancerous screen. This will protect me from the radiation waves that are being projected from the CRT monitor into my face, killing me ever so slowly. Now it's serious time. Congrats, you've successfully installed Windows' latest operating system. Well, almost. Well, I can't help you the rest of the way. I have an important meeting on AOL, so I guess you'll have to fend for yourself. I hope this video helped you, and please feel free to share this VHS tape with family members and other people alike. This is Sheldon with iHardware, signing out.